Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate heat in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so um, with uh, heat, uh, what I mean with that is uh, basically the heat that is coming from fire and uh, you can see it uh, basically uh, when everything uh, behind it is moving. So how do we create that effect? So first of all, let me tell you that I have already uh, made an animation about fire. If I play, you can see it right here. And if you want to know how to do that, um, I have a tutorial for that as well. Uh, I've made it in the past, so I will put a link of that at the end of this video and in the video description. So, but anyway, um, let's start with the heat right now. So uh, I have, made a character and uh, that's sitting on a tree trunk and uh, some woods behind it so what we want to create is uh, by creating this heat effect we can see uh, we basically animate heat so what we do we zoom in on it so we can see it better so that's right here like this and we start with the head and the character um, so we go into the bone layer of the character and we go to the head and if i make the fire invisible uh, everything uh, from the eyes and the eyebrows and the nose and the mouth is on the head layer so basically what we're doing we select it let's select shape tool so when everything is selected, we go to frame 12. And then we take the bind points tool. And with the bind points tool, um, if I zoom in a little bit, if I hold my mouse, click on it, or just click anywhere. And if I move to the right or to the left, doesn't really matter. If you look good, it's starting to move a little bit, but you don't have to go to make it too much, just a little bit. So if I make the points visible, you can see it better. If we go from here to there, you can see it kind of moves like this. It squashes or it stretches, basically. So like this. So. Uh, then we go to frame 24 and then we just copy these keyframes we select them and we go to edit copy edit and paste or control Z and control V uh, so it goes back to uh, how it was and then we select them again and then we or we select the keyframes at the end and then we click on it with the right mouse and we click on cycle and then click this away and then what happens these keyframes will continue to go on over and over so what happens is and maybe i'll make the fire visible so you can so you can see the effect already this is how you create this heat effect so we can do this for basically everything uh, around here so let's do it with um his body let's say his arms because we don't see the body that much so i don't think it makes any difference but let's say we want to move the arms uh, we do the same thing again select shape tool um, frame 12 and then take the bind points tool and then we hold the mouse and then we move and not too much you only have to see a little bit of movement like this we go and then we select these keyframes and then edit copy edit and paste and then select them uh, select the last keyframes create cycle and then you can see the effect right here and basically we can do this for uh, the grass here as well start with the grass do it like this move these points just a little bit not too much there we go it's not very much and 
and then copy them and paste them and basically do the same thing again select them click with the right mouse click on cycle and there we go finally we can do the same for the trees as well go to frame 12 and what we do we just yeah we select these only and basically take the bind points tool and just move it not too much there we go go to frame 24 and basically do the same thing again so what happens is we get this effect basically uh, the face and everything is starting to move which creates the heat effect so there you go that's how you uh, make a simple heat animation um, so I hope this can be useful for you if you need this kind of effect uh, this would work um, if you don't expect too much of it of course so yeah that's uh, the end of this tutorial if you have any more questions leave a comment and yeah thanks for watching if you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.